Hello everyone. Hi. Okay, I see wonderful smiles on my screen over here. Hello, hi everyone. Hi, thank you for joining us. We would be beginning the event real quick in a few minutes. Let's wait for everyone to join in until then. Okay. I have a wonderful video prepared for you guys uh, while we are waiting for everyone to join. So let's enjoy this video until then. All right. Hello, hi, good afternoon everyone. It is a bright Sunday afternoon and today I welcome all the coders and non-coders to the biggest coding aptitude tournament of the year. All right. I hope everyone's doing fine, right? Are you guys excited for this? I am thrilled. Okay, so my name is Parth and I with 98th percentile am host for today's event that is CAT, the coding aptitude tournament. And today we all have gathered over here to see if you are code ready or not. I'm sure it would be a wonderful tournament. Okay. Now a friendly reminder kids. Okay. So this particular event would be recorded for quality and marketing purposes. Now we would be sharing snippets and screenshots from the event on our social media and websites. So you want to keep your smiling faces on, right? <laughs> wonderful. Okay. Now kids, I have a request to make. Before we get started with the tournament, could you please grab your parents for a very quick minute? I have an amazing presentation prepared for them. So let's wait for some time and please call your parents. Okay, I see parents coming in. Wonderful. So parents are coming in. 
perfect okay hi parents welcome let me begin by thanking you for registering your kids for 98th percentile cat i am sure that by the end of the event you would definitely have the answer to the question if your child is scored ready or not now before we get ahead with the tournament let me take this moment you know to go ahead and explain who we are so we 98th percentile is a trusted online e learning company who is providing classes for math ela and coding programs so you have you know we have math classes for grade k to 12 students for grade k to 8 we have english and coding classes now you might be wondering how are our classes different from other online competitors so you know what we actually have live classrooms wherein the students are engaging real time with the teachers so even even though it's a virtual background even though it's a virtual environment we are having a real engagement happening between the teachers and students now to ensure that the you know that the teacher is focusing on each and every student we have just a maximum of four students in each class and with this we ensure committed and personalized attention now also uh, in these classrooms you know our focus is that we focus on the acceleration of the you know of the students and we make sure that these skills have been mastered by the end of the class and that is why you know when you are a part of 90th percentile what we can assure you is that the student would be engaged in an accelerated curriculum and trust me when i say this it is massive worth for the value of money we proactively go ahead and you know try to identify if there are any skill gaps from previous grades now you know so once we have identified if there are any you know skill gaps from previous grades we would be personalizing our curriculums for that and we would be working hard so that the kid is progressing day after day and how do we keep a track of this we have award winning platforms using which we would be keeping a track of this all right now see this is what i had to say about us right but how about you hear it straight from the horse's mouth okay let's head on to the facebook review page and you know you can do it on your own i encourage you people to go ahead on our facebook page on our google review page and you can just read what wonderful things the parents have to tell to tell about us okay it motivates us a lot when you see these kind words coming from the you know parents of our students all right now there is one such success story that i would definitely love to share with you so we have a student called sankalp a remarkable child okay he is enrolled with us in a coding program so what happened is one fine day uh, he had been given an assignment that you have to use the star symbol okay and using the star symbol you have to write the alphabet m you will have to write a code using a star symbol for m okay now what happened the class was so engaging sankalp loved it he spent more than 3 hours writing 297 lines of code and guess what the end product was instead of writing just the alphabet m he ended up writing his entire name and here's a snippet of it isn't that amazing so this is how engaging our classrooms are and this is how dedicated our students also are okay so now parents this is why i have called you okay uh, so we have an event only offer we are providing two weeks of free classes for our, you know for the students and trust me when i say this that you don't at all need any any credit card over here so these free classes are kind of a test drive for you to see if you know we are the best platform for your child's acceleration for math ela and coding programs and there is a very simple process to avail it you simply need to log on to 98percentile.com okay that is the first step you click on free trial you just select the correct grade and tada you have your free classes isn't that amazing now many of you know us right many of you know the amazing things that we do in our classes so if you feel if you feel that you are sure enough with us okay for your kid you can directly go ahead and you know enroll your student now within these two days within these two days if you intend to you know directly enroll your student trust me when i say this we are offering a discount up to 100 dollars if you directly choose to enroll now that is an amazing deal right wonderful okay so now that was about us let's talk about the event that we have gathered over here so we are providing a virtual tournament for you people using which you know using this platform we would be able to identify if the student is code ready or not now how do we intend to do this okay we have identified certain domains certain certain you know pillars through which we are testing the children's you know coding aptitude 
we understand that the kids might not directly know know how to code but coding can be learned and how do you know coding can be learned if you have the aptitude for it so we are checking if your child is code ready okay by checking their aptitude for it and how do we check this aptitude we have certain domains which have been identified okay these domains would be logical reasoning block based questions digital literacy mathematical operations problem solving and if your kid has an aptitude or knack for these domains then definitely your child is code ready now apart from this you know there are more benefits to cat if you are you know winning the competition you would definitely be getting you know online interviews media digital press release awards certificates scholarships gift coupons and even if you're not winning you have a participation certificate and, and a wonderful experience of the event right so everyone's a winner okay now let's see what do we have for the winners for the top 3 winners so the student who would be coming third in this competition would be getting a 10 dollar amazon gift card isn't that amazing not just that along with the 10 dollar amazon gift card the student would be getting a 50% scholarship for 12 weeks for any one of our classes the person coming second would be getting a 20 dollar amazon gift card along with an 80% scholarship for 12 weeks for our classes and finally the person coming first would be getting a 50 dollar amazon gift card along with 12 weeks free subscription to any one of our classes you like to code you can go for coding you like math you can go for math you want to improve your ela courses you can go for ela you can select any one of the classes now that is amazing right wonderful now let me explain the tournament the tournament is divided into four different rounds each round would be having five questions four questions would be the normal questions and the questions would be a thousands worth okay thousand points worth now at the end of each you know at the end of each round we have a brownie question okay now this brownie question is kind of tricky and that is why its worth is 2000 points also with each and every round the level the complexity of each and every question would be going one step higher okay so we have four rounds 20 questions in all and that is a coding aptitude tournament so if everyone is ready let's do a mock run okay let's do a trial session okay why a trial session because we would be using a kahoot for this right so let's see if we are familiar with kahoot also in this mock session you would be you know getting to know if you know what type of questions would appear in the final paper and you would also have a test drive of how the entire event would be executed so what i want you people to do now is you have logged on to the system over here right please go ahead and get a secondary device okay any other it could be a mobile phone an ipad a tablet anything get a second device once you have your second device in the browser please log in to kahoot.it please log in to kahoot.it once you log in to kahoot.it i would be sharing my screen and i would be sharing the game pin for that particular event okay once i share the game pin now this is the crucial part students okay this is a crucial part you would have to enter only and only the unique id shared by us as the nickname okay now you might be wondering where is the unique id so we have shared the unique id via email to your parents also just before an hour we have sent an sms to them okay so there are two ways from which you can go and get the the unique id so now what i request for you people is please ask your parents where the unique id is if any student feels that they don't have the unique id okay what you can do is you can ask us you can ask for it in the chat section but i am sure each one of you have received it so please first check the email if you still can't find it check your parents smartphone okay we have sent an sms to them all right so bring your secondary device on okay and make sure that you have logged into kahoot.it okay make sure that you have logged into kahoot.it once you log into kahoot.it you would have to enter a game pin which i am going to share with you people very shortly just give me a moment the page is loading up and i'll be sharing the kahoot id okay the unique id with you people <coughs> all right and the game pin for our mock session is it's 489 Eight six six two. Once again, you log into Kahoot dot it, enter the game pin, and enter the nickname. What would you enter the nickname? You would be entering the unique ID shared by us as the nickname. Okay, very good. 
So I see, Pavitra, dear, you have used your own name. Please ask your parent for what is the unique ID for you. Okay, we have shared that. Please ask your parents. Now, dear students, remember once again, only and only if you have entered the unique ID and if you win the contest, we will be awarding you the prizes. If you have used your own name, we won't be able to award you. So please go fetch your parents and ask them what the unique ID is. Oh my God, I see so many students already logging in. Wonderful. Okay, we have a puzzler. Puzzler is a very good nickname, but please dear, go and ask your parent for the unique ID. Anyone else, anyone else, anyone else? Okay. All right, I see people joining in. <laughs> Okay, let's hear. Very good. If anyone is having any trouble, you can write it in the chat section. We have a team for them too. Let's wait for a few seconds for you to join in and then begin, right? Finally, come with a unique ID. Very good, Pavitra. Okay, people. So I see that almost everyone has joined in. Ten seconds, and we are ready to go. All right. So it's time to begin the first mock session of you. Tell us. Countdown begins. Three, two, one. The first question is, if Spark is coded as TQBSL, what will be the code for flame? Try to identify the logic over here, the pattern, and what will be the code for flame? Correct. That is amazing. Very good. Let's check our scoreboard after the first question. So we have MC at the first position. Very good. Let's move on to the next question. Now you might be wondering that even though you have given the correct answer, why is someone else at a higher position than you? So dear, Kahoot tests us on two parameters. Okay. First, if you answer it correct or incorrect. Now, even if you have answered it correctly, but if someone else has answered it, you know, within a less period of time than you, then that person would be getting more points. So you need to make sure you are answering it correct and also, you know, very quick. Okay. So let's see what is our second question. Read the information and image and answer which of the following is used for washing clothes. What is used for washing clothes? this correct let's move on to the next question let's explain the logic over here first so here you see orange is called butter butter is called soap and soap is called ink the question is what is used to wash clothes you use soap right 
and soap is called ink and that is why ink is the correct answer very good let's move on to the next question so we see mc is still holding his first position strong very good and then i see that there are four new participants over here wonderful okay the next question is if delhi is coded as 73541 and calcutta is 829 <laughs> That is amazing. Wonderful participation, kids. Wonderful. And the scoreboard is almost static. That is good. Let's hop on to the next question. Which point is east of... We have B over here. Which point is... Wonderful. Let's hop on to the next question. Which of the following figures will complete the image below? Have an image you can write correct very good let's hop on to the next one the scoreboard seems to be static very good now people if you remember i said we would be having brown equations so these brown equations are slightly difficult than the normal ones but again you would be awarded 2000 points so double points for this so let's see which is our first brown equation double points in a certain language man is coded as 28 and girl is coded as 46, then women would be coded as... This correct it is a brown equation so it's worth 2000 points right and this has you know shook the entire scoreboard see that is what a brown equation can do okay so we have four new positions on the scoreboard and that is amazing let's check out the next brown equation so which of the regions marked one to seven represent the urban educated who are not you have to identify the urban educated or not urban. This we have completed a mock session and let's see who are the winners for the mock session right so the third position we have Vivek, very good the second position, and at the first position we have Very good. Okay, let's hop on again. 
let's come back to the presentation so this was the mock session you know this was just a glimpse to give you what the final tournament would be how would it be executed what type of questions would be there okay so now i'm giving you guys a 2 minutes breather please utilize this time to you know focus get some rest okay have water and come back with full energy because the final tournament is going to begin so drink some water guys and buckle up for the final session okay are you guys excited this is the first ever you know first ever coding aptitude tournament and this is the final kahoot for it what i want you guys to do now is you know come back to your devices make sure that you have again logged into kahoot.it okay now this time this time the game pin would be different please make sure you are not using the same game pin again okay i would be sharing a new game pin with you people so make sure you are using the new game pin and again this goes without saying you would be using the unique id shared by us as the you know nickname over there all right if anyone is having any trouble with the unique id please write it in the chat you know someone from our team would be would be definitely helping you out okay so kids come on back back to your devices i hope you have you know had water you have you know you are excited buckled up for the event once again i'm repeating take your phones okay log into kahoot.it i'm going to share the new game pin and here it is all right <laughs> time to play the final kahoot <laughs> okay the game pin is loading guys make sure you would be using this new game pin this time the game pin is 4145982 i repeat 4145982 also make sure you are using the unique id shared by us okay another raising your hand here another what happened <laughs> anaga okay now fine so she has lowered her hand now all right so i guess the problem has been solved wow you guys are super quick you have lost it Let's wait for a minute. Do you want to join it? And I see all of you are using your own ideas. That is brilliant. Wonderful. Ryan, dear, I see you have used your own name. Ryan is a wonderful name, but I please, you know, I I advise you ask your parents to, uh, you know, what is the Kahoot ID. you can check you can ask them to check the sms that we have shared with them you can ask them to check the email that we have shared you would be having the kahoot id over there because dear even if you win we would not be able to award you if you have used your name so please you know grab your parents and ask them what is the kahoot unique id all right let's wait for few more seconds for the still joining in let's wait for 10 more seconds and it's time for the first ever coding aptitude tournament okay it's time for the final tournament i am super excited and i wish you guys all the best and i'm sure you guys are going to rock it let's go for it buckle up your seats and it's time to have a fun time Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, people, as I said, that we would be having four rounds, right? So this is the first round of the CAT, okay? Now you would be having questions, okay? Each question would be happy 1,000 points of worth and you would be getting 30 seconds to answer these questions. So make sure you're reading the question very quickly, identifying which is the correct answer and then registering your answers. So let's see which is the first question of round one. Find the odd one out. Okay. I have four options trying to identify the odd one. got this correct very good let me explain the logic over here if you look closely at all four options okay this is the only option where the arrow is going anti-clockwise it's going the opposite direction whereas all the other options have the arrow going in clockwise direction so these 19 guys have you know a wonderful neck for the logic over here very good let's check our scoreboard after the first question and trust me, MC is going to give you guys a fierce competition because he is holding on to the first place very strong. Very good, MC. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Question number two. Which figure will complete the second pair in the same way as the first pair? Okay. <laughs> Try to identify the pattern over here. this correct wonderful let's move on to the next one and you see that there's a huge shake in the scoreboard wonderful at is to cv and lr is to at and cv that's a logic between there find out lr is to what the logic over here that is amazing so if you see a is the first alphabet and c is the third alphabet so if you jump two places you reach a to c you jump two places you reach t to v similarly if you jump two places from l you would reach n and two places from r you would reach t kudos to these 58 guys let's move on to the next question again find the order one out have four images over here, four options, find out the order. of you were able to identify the odd one let's understand what's the logic over here if you look all four options so the first option had the number 242 if you add all the digits you get 8 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 2 is 8 the second option 5 plus 1 is 6 plus 2 is 8 the third option 6 plus 0 plus 2 is 8 only in the last option you had 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 which did not have the sum of 8 wonderful let's hop on to the next question <laughs> The scoreboard is kind of the same, okay? Now, as I said, after every four questions, we would be having a brownie question. Now, this brownie question is worth 2,000 points. So even if you feel that you had answered incorrectly, this is the time for redeeming those 1,000 points. Okay, so let's see what is the brownie question. Double points. 
There are four lockers. Each locker represents a combination of a letter and a number. Choose the odd one out. Identify the logic that is amazing. So if you look, each and every locker is having an alphabet and a letter in a number, right? Now, if you look at the second option, it has F and six. Now F is the sixth letter of the alphabet. O is the 15th letter and S is the 19th letter, but V is not the 26th letter. Z is the 26th letter, right? So that is why this was the odd one out and kudos to these 38 guys for figuring it out. Okay, so let's see what has happened to the scoreboard. See, after every Brown equation, you would see that the scoreboard has shaken up. But kudos to MSEC over here because he is holding strong to his first place. Very good. Okay, so it's time for round number two. Now, again, you would be having four questions worth 1000 points, 30 seconds for each question, but the questions would be slightly more difficult than the previous ones. So let's begin to the next round. The first question we have from round number two is, if in a certain code term is written as two, three, four, five, shape as six, seven, eight, nine, three, what will be the code for case? Okay, let's check the scoreboard. Wow, we have three new people hopping up over here. Wonderful. So the second question for round number two is, which figure will replace the question? answers very good okay two new entries in the scoreboard i am liking the way the scoreboard the scoreboard is being shaken up everyone's trying their best their you know the best to fit in very good find the missing pair of letters in the series if you have a series of letters over here what would come in this particular blank <laughs> Very good. So 44 of you could get the logic over here. So if you look carefully, we have CD, E is missing, FG, then H is missing, IJ, K is missing. So L, M were the next two letters in the series. And that is option number blue. Very good. Okay, the scoreboard has been shaken up again. Wonderful. If ABC is equal to six, then DEA should equal to what? Okay. <laughs> Right, very good. 
So here we see 63 students have got the correct answer. Very good. So let's see the scoreboard again. Wow. So the scoreboard is intact this time. Let's hop on to the next question. Now I have an announcement to make people. So make sure that the videos are on, right? Cause when we announce the winners, we want to see your beautiful faces. Okay. You want to see your cute faces and we want to interact with your people. So we will be making an announcement of the winners after the competition and we would like to talk to you. So make sure your videos are on at that time. Okay. Because we would be capturing those moments and we, you know, we will be sharing those video bites everywhere. All right. So let's move on to the next question. Now it's time for brownie question. Again, question might be difficult, but 2000 points worth it, right? Here we go. Which number will replace the question mark in the number bond given below? So we have a number bond over here in the Z letter. What question would come over here? What number would come over here? this correct very good and the number board has shifted okay so finally there is someone who has you know come at the first place and has moved mc from the first place very good Goparna. okay let's move on to the next one it's time for round three again you would be having four questions worth thousand points 30 seconds to answer them but the complexity would be a level high so let's see if you guys can get this. The first question from round number three is find the missing number if a certain rule is followed in the given figures. Seven of you got this correct. Very good. And Goparna is having a higher winning streak. Very good. <laughs> Two different images are merged to form a new image. Identify the correct option of the merged image. So these two images are joined to form a new image. Which of these four options will be the correct one? this correct very good so we see that Gupan is holding strong to the first position but we have a new second place we have Maurice hi Maurice welcome over here let's you know keep on the momentum going on and let's move to the next question it's time okay so the next question uh, before we begin that let's have a small inf piece of information okay so we have a repeat block what is a repeat block? A repeat block is used to repeat anything a certain number of times which is present in it. So if for example, you have repeat repeat three times. So whatever is within this block would be repeated three times. If I have written repeat hundred times, it would be repeated hundred times. If I have written, you know, repeat, just repeat one time or repeat, it would repeat it once. So the question says, Repeat block is used to repeat something. How many repeat block or blocks can be used to rewrite the blocks given in picture? Write it.
okay so 28 got this correct very good and Gupan is holding strong to the first position very good how many people had both We are going good over here. 57 of you managed to get this correct. And the scoreboard, we have two new entries. Wonderful. Time for a brownie question. Once again, you have a chance to win 2000 points. There we go. The given figure is first rotated by 180 degrees and then flipped over the dashed line. Identify the First, it is rotated by 180 degrees and then this flipped over the dashed line. So what do you feel would be the correct option over here? Try to visualize the picture and then see what do you get? two people managed to get this correct very good and you see there is a significant change in the scoreboard after every brownie question all right so combo breaker three player just dropped their answer streak of three okay let's see what happens in the next round so students this is the final round now because it is the final round it's going to be much more difficult Instead of 30 seconds, you would be having 60 seconds. That is one minute to answer the question. Because you're having more time, the questions would also be more difficult, right? Okay, so make sure you are prepared for it. The first question for the final round is, read the information given in the image and answer, where do aeroplanes fly? the piece of information thoroughly and then answer. Fifty-five people got this correct. Very good. Let's hop on to the next question. Okay, we have a new entry on the top five scoreboard. Very good. So in a certain code, basket is written as this symbol, triad is written as this. How is code written in that code? Try to identify, you know, the pattern over here and then answer how would code be written as. correct and Gopan is strong on the scoreboard even in fact all the top five are you know working hard okay let's move on to the next question 
So once again, as I said, a repeat block is used to repeat something the certain number of times that is mentioned over here. So based on that, we have our next question. How many times can one move forward using the blocks shown in the picture? Read the code very carefully and see how many times can we move forward using the blocks over here. Okay, so 51 people got this correct. Let's hop on to the next one. The top five is intact. Very good. Identify the pattern and choose the correct option. Okay, so you look at the, you know, which pattern is being followed over here and you look what comes with, comes over here. able to figure this out if you look closely at the question here you see that the circle is inside and then in the second the circle is you know coming outside of the triangle whereas the letter and the symbol has been flipped so you need to you needed to identify which you know of the four options is choosing that particular pattern and it was option blue kudos to the 54 kids who were able to find that okay so after this question again the scoreboard is intact so we have the same people, I guess, since the last three questions who are, you know, on the, at the top five, we have Gopana leading, we have Anutas, Maurice, Srisan, and Amjad. So people, now is the final question for the first ever coding aptitude tournament. The final question, the final brownie question. And after this, we would know who are the winners for the first cat tournament ever. So let's go for it, right? Okay. And here we go. It is a brownie question worth 2000 points. And here it is. Find the value of P and Q respectively if each number is the sum of two numbers directly below it. Okay. So you need to find the value of P and Q if it is, you know, each number is sum of two numbers directly below it. Okay. Think, try to identify all four options and then, then only answer. This is the sixth one, right? It should be, it is the final question of the tournament, right? Yeah. 
okay with this we have completed all the questions of the tournament and the correct answer was option yellow so now you know what would happen the moment i click the next button we would be having our winners for the tournament are you guys excited for it so the person at the third place is maurice congratulations maurice second place amitris and our coding aptitude winner is right on clap 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 have our runners up at fourth and fifth place very good so lupan anutris and maris wonderful now winners i have a request to make so what would be happening you know in short time I would be asking you people to turn on your videos because I would be like you know I would love to love to talk with you guys so make sure you guys are ready All right so these uh this was the tournament let's get back to the presentation Kids I request please call your parents cause it's time for the award ceremony Okay let's wait for a few seconds and please call your parents everyone I'm sure you people enjoyed it it was a nail biting experience in the scoreboard is going up and down up and down and finally we have you know our wonderful winners <laughs> okay hey parents welcome back and we have an event only offer for you if you have missed it the first time let me repeat it once again we are providing two weeks of free classes for you people okay so you you could enroll your kids for two weeks free classes and trust me when i say this no credit cards required this is just a test drive for you to see if we are the best for your you know you know for your child's math el and coding classes so this is a test drive for it now there is a very simple process to avail these free classes you simply need to you know log on to 98percentile.com click on free trial and once you have done that make sure you are selecting the correct grade level for your child and tada you have your free classes Now many of you know how amazing work we do in our classes right so if you feel that you are sure you are certain that we are the best you know we are the best platform for your kids you don't need to wait for the promo classes okay so if within these two days until 15th feb if you choose to directly enroll your child we would be giving you a discount up to $100 isn't that amazing all right so don't wait go ahead and just log on to 98percentile.com and tada you have it okay thank you parents now it's time for the winners it's time for the winners i am sure all of you worked very hard on this and it was an amazing experience the questions are going up and down up and down but finally we have our winners so people it's time to you know unfold the winners for the first ever cat 2021 and the winners are In the third place we have Chakresh. Congratulations, Chakresh. In the second place we have Tishya. Tishya, congratulations. And the first place we have Arnav. A big round of applause for our winners, guys. A big round of applause. Now, of Chakresh, Tishya, and Arnav, I would definitely love to have a word with you people. Could you please raise your hands? I could, you know, go ahead and just unmute yourselves. Chakresh, Tishya, and Arnav. please raise your hand in the participant section i would love to have a word with you people <laughs> where are our winners come on guys okay tishya has raised her hand skids so, if you remember i said earlier uh, once the competition is over we would like to have a word with the winners if you are not raising your hand if you are not turning on your videos i'm sorry we would have to pass on it to the next person So I see Tishya and Arnav has raised his hand. Raise their hands. Chakresh, please raise your hand. Else we would have to, you know, pass on. You know, we would have to consider the person coming forth. Okay. So in the meanwhile, let's have a word with Tishya. Tishya, could you please unmute yourself, dear? Hello. Hello. Hi. Tishya, can you hear me? Yes. Congratulations. How does it feel? Good, great. Feel good. Okay, yeah. so tell me something. What went into the? You know, did you prepare for it? How was the journey? How was the experience? 
I just did some practice. You did some practice, and you know, as they say, a little practice never goes in vain. Okay, uh, Tishya, how was the experience? What were, you know? What were you feeling? One question after the other. Um, yes, a bit nervous. You are nervous, right? But see, it's it has paid off very well. You have won the second prize. What do you intend to do with the twenty dollar Amazon gift card? You already okay. have something, you know, bookmarked in your wish list. Just gonna save it. Oh yeah, that is wonderful. Saving always helps. So Tisha, once again, congratulations! I am super happy for you, and thank you. And let's have a word with our winner, Arnav. Arnav, please unmute yourself, dear. <laughs> Hi, Arnav. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yeah. Arnav, how does it feel? to be the winner for the first ever coding aptitude tournament it feel really good cuz obviously i, I won <laughs> yeah and, you won. and so, i actually really enjoyed the questions as well like especially those repeat and the brownie questions they were really cool i didn't even know that exists i'm glad you loved them so i know how was the experience and did you feel nervous or what did you feel well some questions like especially like some brownie questions those were really complicated mm -hmm. i felt a little nervous i went loose cuz i was actually at like like cuz i was kind of confused at that time but i just like got yeah, through yeah yeah but i am sure you you paid a lot of attention and see hard work pays off so or now once again congratulations <laughs> and i wish you you know all the best for this okay thank you arnav uh so students as i said we would want all three winners over here uh okay so winners we would be contacting uh you know your your parents within two days uh please make sure you have the correct details contact details given to us and we would be having an interview with you people okay we would be interviewing you people and we would be giving the prizes the awards in that particular interview to you people okay so as of now i don't see chakresh so let's see what happens let's move on Now, as I said, everyone is a winner. Even though you are not in the top three, not in the top five, doesn't matter. Each one of you is a winner because we had a wonderful experience today, right? And we are going to get a amazing participation certificate based on this experience. What you need to do is please check your chat section. Okay, I have shared a link with you people, a link to a Google form. You just fill in your simple basic details, and today you have your participation certificate. A certificate you can woo your friends. You know. Hey, I participated in the first ever coding aptitude tournament. So please go ahead in the chat section, fill in that Google form, and get your certificate. Okay, moving ahead. Now you see, 90th percentile is known for bringing amazing events, right? We began with Spell Kahoot, then we had Smart, and we have Cat over here. So we have repeatedly come again and again, month by month, and we have brought wonderful, amazing, thrilling events for you people. and this momentum would keep on continuing so today let me take this opportunity to announce our next event this is the first ever first ever time that something like this is going to happen on a virtual environment okay we are going to present your creativity bones you know we are going to make sure that all of your creativity bones would be tickling a lot because this has never happened again so 90th percentile presents comics this is a first ever event where you know you would be actually creating comic strips and you know we would be having a competition for that not only that now all of you know what comics is right we have you know grown up we have read so many comics of our superheroes favorite superheroes then you have you love your favorite cartoons we have garfields unicorns batman superman so many so what is the next event about two things first we would be actually teaching you how can you create your own comic book okay your own comic strip once you have learned that we would be giving you an opportunity to create your own comic and then we would be you know opening it for a tournament and all of your comics would be at one particular place and we would be identify the best comic from there isn't that amazing okay so 90th percentile presents comics tell a tale with comic strips that is going to come next very soon i'm sure you guys are really excited for that and this brings an end to the most wonderful event ever okay i had a really good time now before i say goodbye i have a request for you people 
we had such a wonderful moment today right so let's capture this moment with a wonderful group photo everyone please make sure you're smiling yeah i see those beautiful smile over here okay such cute smiles hey everyone i hope you people had a good time everyone victory come on cool thumbs up please smile for a wonderful photo this is definitely going to come in our magazine okay people that's it i had a really good time i'm sure even you people did have a wonderful sunday ahead in bye bye until we meet again for comics tada stay safe stay take care bye bye